The Bhutanese resettlement operation out of Nepal is a moving testament of human resilience and sustained hard work among many partners. It has allowed some 100,000 refugees to start new lives. It is a notable and inspiring outcome of effective interagency cooperation, particularly in light of the multiple ongoing humanitarian crises which don't seem to have an end in sight. Resettlement is sometimes life-saving, but it is always life-changing. Resettlement offers not only international protection, but also a path toward social and economic integration in new host societies. Resettlement has provided 100,000 Bhutanese with the chance to recover and a renewed sense of purpose in life. This deserves to be celebrated. None of this, of course, would have been possible without the open-hearted hospitality of the government and the people of Nepal. Nor would it have been possible without the generosity of Australia, Canada, Denmark, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, the United Kingdom, and the United States, all of whom continue to support refugees in need. I also wish to commend UNHCR, IOM's traditional partner, as well as other UN partners and the NGO community itself for their outstanding collaboration in making resettlement a success. To all those who have had a hand in achieving this important example of international solidarity, I offer my heartfelt thanks, appreciation, and very best wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, Globally, more than 60 million people are forcibly displaced, and for most of them, finding a durable solution is a distant dream. But not here in Nepal. The 100,000th refugee from Bhutan will soon depart on resettlement to begin a new life abroad. One of the world's most protracted refugee situations has become one of the largest resettlement operations in history. And this would not have been possible without the generous hospitality of the government and people of Nepal we have hosted refugees from Bhutan for more than 20 years. And I'm also deeply grateful to the eight countries that offered resettlement places, to our NGO and UN partners who have supported refugees for two decades, and to IOM for the excellent cooperation in resettlement processing. Refugees from Bhutan have also shown resilience and generosity. After the earthquakes, they collected funds for the Nepalese hosts and helped rebuild shelters. This is a reminder that refugees have much to contribute. More work remains to be done to find solutions for the 10 to 12,000 refugees who we know are not expected to resettle. Refugee camps cannot be maintained indefinitely, and all stakeholders must now work together to bring this situation to a sustainable end. Nepal has shown that solutions can be found when compassion and cooperation are bolstered by international solidarity. Thank you very much.